Robert Louis Stevenson was a famous writer. Known for novels like The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Kidnapped and Treasure Island. Fifteen men on the dead man's chest. Yo-ho-ho ho, and a bottle of rum. <sighs> it's no good. I can't concentrate. Robert Louis Stevenson's family were also famous, but for a very different reason. His grandfather Robert Stevenson had a plan to light up Scotland forever. You see, the Stevensons designed lighthouses. And it all started with this one, the Bell Rock Lighthouse, warning sailors of a dangerous set of rocks lying hidden in the North Sea. But trying to build a lighthouse on the rocks would be just as dangerous. But Stevenson knew that a lighthouse would save many, many lives. We can only work a few hours a day at low tide. And only between April and October because the weather is, is so bad. Robert's plan was ambitious. Built with stone quarried in Dundee, the first nine meters were made with sandstone and granite. These are hard wearing and tough, which is helpful as half of the building would be below high water. Above this, there would be five rooms for the keeper to live in and store supplies. And finally, the light room would sit 36 metres high at the top of the tower, 96 steps from the ground. The first revolving light in Scotland used 24 mirrors, an oil lamp and red glass plates, meaning that the lighthouse flashed red and white. The light was powered by clockwork, using a weight which dropped down through the tower. It took four years to build the Bell Rock Lighthouse. And throughout the Victorian era and into the 20th century, Robert Stevenson and his descendants built 153 lighthouses around Scotland and saved many lives. <laughs>